Hi, I'm James, and today I'm working on this, which is an ASUS ZN220IC all-in-one desktop system. And we are looking at fitting this with a upgraded SSD. I've already cloned onto the SSD with TrueImage 2019, and I now need to get in and fit the drive. So to start off with, we're going to use just the sharp point of this metal pry tool. I normally don't like using metal pry tools, but in this case it is a necessity and so I've already actually had a look at this and loosened this bottom piece here. So we need to get the pry tool under there and then peel this strip off and along. This will just stick back in place when we are done so we will try not to get too much into that. With that done we are then going to go to our screwdriver set and I believe we are going to need a size O Phillips piece, so I'm just going to reposition this machine so it's led flat. And with that done, we are now going to remove these screws from the bottom of the screen. This particular machine came with a one terabyte SSD, uh, sorry, one terabyte hard drive, and we are converting it to a 480 gig SSD. Um, the standard configuration of this was actually to have a 120 or, so, or 100 gigabyte roughly um, main partition and then a separate data partition. And in TrueImage I've basically, because the data partition was unused, as it often is the case in these things, uh, I have shrunk that down to just 38 megabytes, which was the minimum it would allow, and maximised the main Windows partition to give more space where it's actually going to be used by the user. So with that done, we are now going to take our pry tool and we want to see, so we are going to go along this bottom edge here where the black of the screen surround meets the back panel of the machine. So with that done, going to insert a little pick in here just to keep that spacing open. And because access isn't very good here, I'm also going to use a pick just to try and get in below the stand. These are quite thick picks, uh, you certainly wouldn't be playing a guitar with them, but they're useful for these for slotting in to maintain a gap and stop things clipping themselves back together. So from there we are then going to take our pry tool and work around to the edge of the machine, pressing in and down. And we'll start losing some of our picks as we lift things and open up the gap again. That's okay, we will retrieve them from inside at the end. Go down the other side now. So it seems best technique here is to kind of angle the pry tool down a little bit. Uh, do note I've gone to a plastic pry tool for this section, just because you don't want to mark the plastic any more than necessary. And a bit tricky to release some of these, but we are making some progress. Do need not excessive pressure, but just enough to convince those to release. Now going down the other side, with the camera here it's a bit tricky as I'm essentially doing this blind. And then with that done, you should be able to lift up the screen and look at how it is connected to the unit. Now it's a little awkward to get a good angle here, but what we can see is I've propped the screen open just using a couple marker pens. Um, I could do this just by holding it, but it makes it a little easier to illustrate. So we have a connector here, which we need to unplug from this little board, and just let that stand there. Then I'm going to remove those pens and lift the screen. This is detached from the chassis. Now at the top here, we have another little connector which we are just going to ease out and then 
again hard to see here but there is a so we need to get a fingernail in to lift the little connector there and remove that sorry that was really hard to see with the positioning of the screen and the camera but in doing that we are able to completely remove the screen and give us access to what's inside. Screen removed now we can see we have a 2.5 inch hard drive here. I did check under this big metal shield and on both sides of the main board and there is no socketed dim uh, either slot unoccupied or module so it appears this machine will forever be hobbled by the four gigabytes of RAM being soldered to the main board unfortunately but nevertheless we will press on and do the SSD. This holder has four screws holding it in place. Tight one there. Obviously unplugged the cables at the top there, uh, data and power. With that done now, we can lift the drive out. And what we can see, we have a further four screws holding this in to its caddy. Two on each side. With those removed, we can then peel back this silver covering and lift out our drive. I'm going to peel that off and place it on the new drive, although it's not really uh, an essential component on the SSD. But we can stick that on in place just for uh, completeness. And then we're going to slot our SSD back into the caddy, making sure we get it the right way round. SSD's thinner so that sits a little bit proud. We can then return the four side mount screws into the drive. made a little bit awkward by trying to show this to the camera as I'm doing it. Normally you just do this flat on the desk rather than in your hand. And with those in, we can return the drive into place, connect up the power and data cables on the back here, and screw the drive back into place. All that is left to do now is to retrieve our screen and we are going to stand this upright and connect this back cable. Then we are going to loop around the display ribbon and 
press back down on the little holder for that. We then want to line the top of the system up and hopefully you can see this, slot this cable back in. With that done we can then begin clipping the display back into its surround, clipping together the bits of plastic just by applying a bit of pressure and all this is left for us to do now is to return these screws to hold the screen in position and then refit that plastic strip to cover them over. I hope you found this video helpful. Um, sorry if uh, some of the angles aren't the best, it's a bit of a tricky one to work with being an all-in-one system. But if you have any questions do let me know in the comments below. Hit like if this has helped you upgrade or repair your system and hit subscribe if you would like to see more videos as I post them. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great day.